court trial about the near thousand dollars my previous extremely bad landlords owed me. Yeah. No one should. No one should ever try to deny you what is rightfully yours. Ever, ever. Yes, I did have all the proofs I could have wanted that the moolah was rightfully mine. Though even if I did not have the proofs that I had, that it was, it was as blatant as could be that I had the true favorable position of the case and would have won anyway. The scenario was that stupid and nothing I should have actually had to take through the courts firstly. They even confirmed my side of the case a few times with the immensely understated idiotic papers they tried to use as their case files. Generally, the situation should have been one of common knowledge and courtesy, and local actual residential law was nowhere what should have had to have been resorted to for the resolution of the dispute. That's for sure. Unbelievably, knowingly, or unknowingly, I did not know that apparently it was legal for anyone to try to operate as a landlord through Ontario and be that vastly uneducated of what the job of being a landlord actually is. Please can landlord licenses be mandatory through all of Ontario at least? Because I should have been long finished with, with school and I would have been if I didn't have to battle that stupid sewage. And honestly, I wish them well. I do. They were good people and I'm able to recognize that, yes, despite that they were simply extremely bad at being landlords. Yeah, I've had a constant credit card debt for nearly a year and obviously no one should. So, yeah, I got through it. I won. Justice rules. Roar!